Okay, good evening. Welcome to the September 17th meeting of the Barrington Planning Board. First is start with the roll call, starting with Mr. Knapp. Knapp, present. Tess here, present. Al, present. Driscoll, present. Also, we have Vanessa Price, town planner. Robert Irvine, planning, and land use administrative assistant. Next item is review and approval of minutes from August 27th, 2024. Comments or corrections or whatever. Hearing none, I'll make a motion to uh, accept the minutes from 27th, 20th. Second. Roll call. Yeah, bye. Tessie, right? All right. Let's go on. Next, uh, review of the minutes from September 3rd, 2024. Um, Mr. Comments, motions. Make a motion we uh, accept the meeting minutes as written. I'll second that. Call. Aye. Aye. Tessie or I. Aye. Let's go aye. Next item, staff updates from the town planner. Okay, just a few training opportunities um, from the Office of Planning and Development. Their monthly webinar series is changes to planning and zoning laws in 2024. Um, if anybody is interested in attending the um, APA conference, it's in Stowe this year, as well as the, um, there's NHMA 83rd annual conference, and there's also the housing and economic conference. If anybody's interested, the board members, let me know, or if, um, if you want to sign up for them, um, we can reimburse you for those costs as well as mileage. Hotel? Perhaps. <laughs> I, I would, depending on um, having a travel budget. I've done ski season. I recommend oh. the Stowe Resort right there at the base. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you write that down. So um, that's all I have for announcements currently. Oh, I just wanted to let you guys know, you may have already seen the email um, about the volunteers to do apple picking at Butternut on October 13th. Volunteer for you. Sunday? Um, Sunday, mm -hmm. yeah. Holiday weekend. Um, to that and based on the number of members we have, I'm going to be, this is going to be my last meeting for about a month. Traveling. Okay. We can talk about later. <laughs> we don't have to disclose. Even the country. You don't disclose. Okay. Tell okay. Awesome. Okay. So you won't be here in October at all, you think? Uh, I'll be back 17th or 18th. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Item number five action items extension requests for 235-1.1. And three dash TC dash two one dash SR slash LL slash nine six Dove Development Group. Mr. Barry, thank you for being here. If we can just make sure the microphone Thank you. Okay, no worries. Good, e good evening, Chair, members of the board. Christopher Barry with Barry Surveying and Engineering representing Dove Development here this evening. Uh, we stood before you. Uh, a little less than a year ago, asking for a one-year extension on an approval that we received for uh, approximately 45 uh, units and a town uh, center design uh, behind the Christmas stove. Um, at the time, uh, we were informed that our the variance for that project had lapsed, and uh, the planning board had apprehension at the time about granting us the extension. And so I took the time uh, this year to... Uh, review with you exactly what we've been doing uh, and what is fundamentally causing the delay or has caused the delay in this project uh, in the past. Um, essentially, when this project was approved, um, I think we can all agree it was at a time when there was some economic uncertainty and we had some pretty serious escalations in construction costs. And um, this project has always been a multi-phase project, meaning the phase that this board approved is essentially phase one, and then the second phase that we would uh, design as part of phase two has additional mixed-use buildings that are proposed uh, and additional uh, aspects of the project. And because of the uh, construction costs of essentially the push part of the project, the front end of the project, uh, the applicants had to really pause and determine whether or not uh, we needed to design the entire project all as one uh, project to allow them uh, the ability to finance uh, the project as a whole. Um, because when we looked at this uh, and the bank looked at it, essentially what we're looking at is 
what is the amount of money that has to go into the front end of the project versus the return. So it's not only um, the developers wish uh, to have proper financing, but to go to a bank, you also have to perform financially as well. Um, so uh, we had that, that that essentially uh, took place. And then um, I'm sure as you're all aware, there's been a lot of discussion recently about uh, other aspects of the town center area and other parcels that are looking to participate with us in this project. And it has taken quite a bit of time for us to sort of wrap our arms around that. Uh, one of the abutting parcels was tied up uh, in litigation for some time, has now been purchased by a client of mine. And uh, as of earlier this month, we actually sat down at the table with many of the other landowners in the area to uh, determine uh, what all of our interests are uh, with the town of Barrington. Uh, to include um, town of Barrington staff and determine the best route forward. Um, included us, the subbutting parcel to the west, and then the uh, Svensson family and how they would uh, like to participate in the rest of our project as well. So um, as part of the, the approval, we had an alteration of terrain permit that uh, would be required and a DOT permit that would be required. The DOT permit uh, was dependent on an additional traffic study that would be required at the intersection of Route 125 and Route 9. And if our project scope were to change in size to the magnitude that uh, we think it will, then that would have changed all of the results of that study. And so we paused the alteration of terrain because, of course, we're looking at a different design now. And we paused the DOT work because, of course, we're looking at potentially more traffic. Um, since that time, uh, my applicants have decided and we've determined that we can move forward with our original approved project um, and it will not be a detriment to what were the end goal of the multiple phases moving forward. And so uh, we're here tonight asking for the board's um, uh, extension of our project in two steps, essentially. Uh, the first step would be uh, I'm asking for two months uh, so that we can go to the ZBA and uh, work with the ZBA on getting our uh, variances. Um, and then we would come back to the board with um, a further extension and uh, a sketch of what we're proposing for future revisions. And that would essentially allow the board to be confident that we are moving forward um, and not just granting us another one year extension um, where time passes us by for another year and, and nothing takes place. So that's what we're asking for. Um, and I would just end on the applicants are quite serious about moving forward with the project. They would like to break ground in the spring. And that means that we have to uh, re-engage alteration of terrain, which we have uh, been granted an extension by them. And we have uh, engaged a traffic uh, engineer, GPI engineering, to conduct the required traffic uh, study that DOT would require and aid in any offsite improvements that may be required as part of the project. If the board is inclined to simply grant us a one year extension, uh, that would also be great. But I wanted to, uh, I wanted the opportunity to prove to the board that we're serious about moving forward. So. Any comments? I have a quick question. Could you remind me what the ZBA waiver was? Um, there were multiple, and I couldn't cite them verse. Um, but it essentially was a, an approval for uh, different ratios within the PUD ordinance uh, to be used. So we weren't able to follow the strict 25% uh, and 30% and 50% of open space and common land and civic space and all that. So it was very specific to uh, the number of uh, attached single family uh, units and the other uh, ratios that would be required in the PUD. It seems to be very specific to this project, so that's what I was kind of wondering. Any other comments? Well, I guess the question I have for the rest of the board is, do you have a choice of a two-month and then another extension, or would you do a one-year right now? We would put on that. Um, just taking a poll here, I'd go for one, just a one-year. You don't know how the ZBA could be. 
Yeah, they need the ZBA anyway, so um, they can't go full FOC. Anybody, I'm going to open it to public comment. Anybody like to speak to this? Somebody online. Close the public comment. Um, okay, you want to make a motion to um, somebody or I can? I make a motion we uh, um, approve a one year extension for the Dove Development Group project. I'll second that. Roll call. Aye. Aye. Tessie, aye. 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 Thank you. Enjoy your night. Okay. Next one we have Young Road. I thought I'd throw that out before you hit the door. But. Okay, next item 240 um, 8 NR 23 sub parentheses 22 revised Young Road LLC. Request, uh, request by the applicant for major site plan to subdivide uh, 22 lots roadway conservation subdivision ordinance with waivers on 65.55 acre lot. They are requesting a continuance until the um, next meeting in October 1st. October 1st, right. It was October 17th. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, no, oh never no, mind, never mind. The I'm waiver sorry. was granted My bad. Uh, back then. Yeah, okay. Um, any comments or questions? Um, okay, motion to grant the continuance. I'll make that motion. Roll second. I'll second. Roll call. Step high. Tessier. Allen I. Tessier I. Item number two, 220-11-GR-24 design. Uh, Uden, AKA Edwin and Ida Elvis. A uh, request by the applicant for design review for workforce housing and to construct 14 two-bedroom uh, two manufactured units for rent and sale. Uh, they are also requesting a continuance, but according to the letter they sent, it's kind of an open continuance because they have to get... Um, yeah, currently, um, they are looking for a new design firm to do their application. And the land use attorney. So there would be a new design to come forth yeah. um i don't i don't know if they're here i don't know um, anybody I want to speak to this um okay I don't on know if the folks green hill road okay. okay do we know do we know when they want to get hitched right continue to how do you give know it? there's they haven't no hired anybody yet so in the co request and continuance i anticipate they want to request continuance to the next meeting however they um uh barry surveying is no longer um representing the owner um the board could continue if they would like until October 1st, 2024. Seems to me that or, they're not going to be ready by the 1st. No, or you can close design because you can always come back with a design. I mean, they're going to have to, ha I would assume, a different application because someone else is going to be representing them. Yeah. You know, so you can't really do the same the application with someone representing that's what I think. someone else. Yep. So. so, motion to close, close design. design. I'll make the motion to close design. Design review. Design review, yeah. I'll second that. Roll call. Yep, I. Tess, you're aye. Aye. Just go aye. So I guess what will happen is um, you will con they'll contact yeah. you. Yeah. So I'll um, say that with the close of the design, um, because including your motion was because due to um, uncertainty. Change and expecting a revised design. Yeah. With uh, engineering firm, new use attorney. Expectation of a. a I was that with new, um, no. to change okay. of development team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next one is item number three, one hundred one dash five two and five three gr dash two four ll Peter, Peter and Peggy Shaw. And they are also requesting a continuance. Um, any discussion? Uh, request to continue us to uh, October, October 1st. 1st. That's good. Second. Are you motion? Yeah, that's yeah. a motion. Okay. Yeah. Who was that? John uh, and then Ron. John and Ron. Okay. Um, roll call. Half by. Just your eye. Allen Eye. Just go on. Okay. Item number four, 239 29 3 24 sub owner Timothy Rowell. Uh, this was a. Uh, Request um, for a subdivision, two lot subdivision. 
Anybody like to speak to this? I'm here, but my representative is. Yeah. Um, would you like to? Um, well, I guess I can address the board. The board can, um, if they want, you can move it down in the agenda, just in case. Yeah. They be might able be to contact them by phone. Just send them an email, but I have um, if you want to just say, move yeah. it to the end of the application. Expect Michelle. He, he was expected to be here, right? So, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I make a motion that we move um, this item to the end of the meeting. I'll second that. Roll call. No, fine. That's correct. Allard aye. That's Okay. Or if you hear from him and if you're not coming, you wait. So <laughs> just kind of yeah. <laughs> raise your hand or something. Okay. Don't have to be last. Yeah, otherwise it'd be last. stuff up here it's not that one number four so. okay next item is a uh, 9.6 apple special permit for construction in a wetland buffer 237-8-v-24-9.6 permits and uh, this is christopher and jacqueline morris i would just like for the record to make it known that um uh, Mr. Morse is part of my staff at work, so uh, I do not. <laughs> a potential conflict. Now we're down to two one. members. He does not work directly for me, but yeah, he does work on my staff. So, so you don't have any. I have no conflict of interest in this. So. We'll have to talk about that well. tomorrow. No. <laughs> <laughs> for all I know, he might say no. And for the record, I just want it to be known, and I'll leave it to the board to to decide if I should recuse myself. But this started because uh, Mr. Morris had contacted me about building the addition, and I brought it to his attention that the wetland was there. We have no contract. We never discussed money or anything, um, but that's why he's here today. More or less at this point, I'm just trying to figure out how much land I can actually build on. Okay. Uh, All right. Does any other member have <laughs> questions about these conflicts? conflicts? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Ron? I think I am good with this one. Okay. One of you. All right. <laughs> and you're okay with so Andy? You're... And you're okay with Bob? I, I don't have any problem with Bob. Except that I have a return to call. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess you can proceed. I wasn't going to tell our little secret. <laughs> presentation. Okay. Thank you. So what we're looking at doing is adding... Is green? Yes, it is green. So what we're looking at doing is adding a two-car garage on our first floor where we currently have a one-car. So expanding it out by one bay and then having a two-bedroom living apartment above it the intention of having a accessory dwelling unit that will be available for when, if my parents need to end up moving in for healthcare reasons. Um, more what the issue is that we have is the plot of the land of where our house sits is as going through the ZBA a couple months ago, falls a lot within quite a few restrictions. Um, the one side of the house that makes the most sense for having a accessory dwelling unit that's accessible from our living space is on the side of where the uh, wetlands boundary is. We are not going to be going into the wetlands itself, but staying within the buffer zone if what I would like to be able to do is approved. The going before or sending the application or contacting the Conservation Commission, they suggested that we can build within 10 feet of the wetlands boundary. And at the proposal of what I'm looking at doing, I'm staying 14.9 feet away. Um, the Conservation Commission used the formula. system formula that yeah. we've been adopting. Apparently, <laughs> mine was maybe the first house that got used on. <laughs> going off of uh anybody have any questions on this no just general commentary um uh mr morse did actually had approached me on it as well and i we had talked through it and made the recommendation of doing it so um kind of on behalf of it he has proactively sought out the conservation commission he's looked at us all his options um has applied to the 
to uh, DOT and been denied based on that. So I feel like he's exhausted pretty much. Try to move the driveway in the yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do have the uh, written form that they gave me basically stating that my current driveway already is within the 400 foot sight line that they would like to be beyond. So it's, they don't consider it a blind driveway or a dangerous one. I'm just within that limit that they would like me to be outside of. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to open a public comment. Anybody here like to speak to this? Anybody online? This is the one we had the letter from the abutter, correct? Yep, the butter In support uh, of it. supports this. Yep. Yeah, the only the only other comment I have is this blueprint was they should have given a detail of the it, there's yeah. a, a thing that shows the edge of the wetlands, but there's no there's no line that shows you the wetlands are. There is a line that's on there. It is okay. rather faint. Uh, going off to the side, it is a straight line with the three dots on it that is allocated down at the uh, bottom left hand corner. Yeah, this is a general comment for a lot of these surveyors. I mean, they, they give us the whole parcel, even a piece of it. And if we're coming in for a question on a particular area, if they could just blow that section up and maybe just add a page two, yeah. just so we can see. Okay. I mean, it's just a and procedural I, thing. Not that it matters about, you know, maybe if, uh, the special. Anyone want to borrow the magazine? <laughs> yeah, maybe. But, but you know, I think the road agent suggested a yeah, turnaround spot there. You're, you're going That's the fire chief. Fire chief. You know, going being able to go into that road head on is not a bad. It doesn't affect you the. So right now, we pretty much, if we have to, we turn around in the front lawn. Uh, what I would like to end up doing is having, if the finances work out, have the road, have the driveway paved up to the building. And then where we currently use as our turnaround spot, if we need to, have that be gravel. Yeah, I think that was a good suggestion on his part. But it doesn't matter about the, it won't affect this one way or the other, whether you do that or not. Okay, is there a motion to accept the application? That's complete. All motion to accept the application is complete. Second. Roll call. Napi. Chelsea Ryan. Allen Ryan. Jessica Ryan. And, and nobody was online for the public comment, which I didn't close yet, but I'm closing it now. Um, let me read the notice of decision. If you want to read it, you can. Okay. I just would like to note for the board to, um, to add to the plan note that I didn't put on here was to approve the 9.6 on September 17th, if you want that. I think that should be on the plan set itself. We're looking at this, so that way if it, the plan set referred later to the building department that they know that it's been approved. I'd like to add that as an additional conditions precedent if the board accepts that. Add it as item number three, I guess. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Why don't you read the heading? And I will pick up conditions precedent. At the planning board meeting of September 17th, 2024, conditionally approved your application referenced above for the 237-8-V-24-9.6 permit. The application has met all the town ordinances and regulations in accordance with the town of Barrington zoning ordinance amended March 12, 2024. All the precedent conditions must be met by the applicant at the expense of the applicant prior to the plans being certified by the planning board. Certification of the plans is required prior to any commencement of site work or recording of any plans. Once these precedent conditions are met and the plans are certified, the approval is considered final. Now, please note, um, if all the precedent conditions are not met within 12 calendar months um, to September 17th, 25. Um, in that case, the board's approval of conservative lapse unless the board grants a mutually agreeable extension. 
The following conditions precedent are. Okay. <clears throat> Item number one, add the following plan notes. On July 17th, 2024, Zoning Board of Adjustment meeting, the board granted a variance from Article 4, Section 4.1.1, Table 2, front and side setback requirements in the Village Zoning District to allow for new garage to be constructed. The side setback is 28.2 feet and 27 feet, where 30 feet is required, and the front setback is 39.8 feet, where 4 feet is required. Two add to the following plan notes. All, uh, owner's signature, wetland scientist signature, professional surveyor's signature. Item three, prior to a <coughs> board signature, the applicant shall submit three full paper copies of the plans, one by 17 copy in the PDFA format file, bring documents with a letter explaining how the applicant addressed the conditions of approval to the town land use department. Um, also note that the 9.6 was approved on 2024. Um, the planning board chair shall sign and date all plan meetings meeting the conditions of approval. The board shall endorse three full-size paper copies of the subdivision plan for the records and one 11 by 17 copy in a PDF file format case file folder. General and subsequent conditions. We know active and substantial work has commenced upon the site. Plans that are approved and signed by the board shall expire two years, years from the date of the plan is signed. An extension not to exceed one year may be granted by the majority vote of the board so long as it applies for, for at least 30 days before the expiration date. The board may grant only one such extension. Expired plans must be submitted to the board for review to ensure compliance. With these and all other town ordinances and regulations via the normal application process. Item number two, street view signage shall be 911 compliant. <clears throat> In E911 addressing approved by the town of Barrington. Uh, the town plan that does wish you best of luck with your project. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to call, contact her. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to make a motion to grant the 9.6. Make a motion we approve the 9.6 for application 237-888V24-9.6. Um, motion, I'll uh, second that motion. Roll call, please. Napa. Tessie, you're right. Now I. Let's go on. Hey, good luck. Thank you. So your next step would just be to revise those plans with the notes and the notes of decision. It will be mailed to you certified mail. Um, and then once you get that to our office, um, the planning chair will sign off on it if it meets all those conditions. And then you can, if you're ready to pull your building permit, you should be able to do at that point. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next item we have is Class 6 private road application, item A, view of request for a building permit for Nathan and Kerry Gray, 245 Dry Hill Road, NAP 201, Lot 16 for Category 3, Option 2 from the Class 6 private road policy. Anybody here? Good evening, Nathan Gray, 345 Dry Hill Road. Um, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but is the microphone just on? We're green. We're green. Um, so good evening. Um, as some of you may recall, I came before you on behalf of my wife and I um, to talk about a proposal to convert our existing home into multi units to help provide additional housing for Barrington. Our goal is to utilize our current residents, making no changes to the existing footprint. However, it became clear that pursuing that path would require significant upgrades to the town's class six road, including widening it to new building standards and fully paving it. Uh, while we understand the need for modern infrastructure, the requirement to pave the quintessential New Hampshire dirt road that leads to our home, cutting through beautiful woodlands and passing a wildlife pond 
raised serious concern for us. Beyond the environmental impact, the sheer cost of such a project made it unfeasible for us in today's economy. Uh, this led us to rethink our approach. Today, we present a more modest proposal that stays within the bounds of the existing footprint. Instead of converting the home into multiple units, we are simply proposing to finish the existing space, such as turning offices and dining rooms into additional bedrooms and finishing the basement for more functionality. The idea that a 6,200 square foot home should remain limited to just three bedrooms seems unrealistic. It could even be viewed as a way to avoid necessary property improvement or property, property taxes. By making these updates, we can bring the home into line with our actual capacity, creating more functional and living space while respecting the property's existing footprint. Uh, so on the comments from the town, uh, town employees, uh, they talked about uh, the road being, having multiple areas to pull off to be able to pass by, uh, for, for two vehicles to pass by each other. Um, and I definitely second that as I drive a, a large one ton truck and have passed multiple um, garbage trucks. And I've seen on multiple occasions, a garbage truck pass an Amazon truck or, or, or something to that effect. Um, so as stated by one of the employees, um, that that's definitely, I second that. But I also fully understand the fire chief's safety concerns about road width, especially being a veteran and former civil service employee myself. I appreciate his focus on safety. But from my experience living there, I regularly driving a large one ton truck, as I stated, I've seen multiple trucks pass. Um, the proposed enhancements we plan to make will only improve the road's functionality and ensure safe passage for all vehicles, uh, including emergency vehicles. And so I think we, Alec, we, I, I provided the proposed work to improve upon the road um, at a, $45,000 um, budget to improve the road. Um, and and as we know, it's class six road, not something we own personally, but this is something that we're putting into the town um, to to help enhance the safety for, for fire trucks and such to pass. Um, and that's what I've got. If there's any questions, I'm happy to to talk through them and, and uh, Hear any concerns or, or questions? Uh, the policy is, is if the road, it's not a red list road, 10% is per policy, but it's a red listed road. You have to address the concerns of the fire chief to get it off of the red list. Mm -hmm. Has Have you had that conversation with him? Uh, with the chief? Fire chief, yeah. No, it is a, considered a red list road. He put it on the red. He put it on the red list. So he has specific concerns on that road. Yep. That made to put it on the red list. And those yeah. have to, for the policy, those have to be addressed before building permit can be issued. Mm, that's why we proposed all the additional improvements to make sure that the road isn't wet while passing. So adding additional coverts, adding additional pullouts, adding a bunch of material to the road. Um, that's the idea is behind this whole whole packet here that I turned in and answered all the questions about the class six road is to to be able to to improve the road there. Um, but 10% is for a road not on the red list. That, this road is on the red list. So it, that is not sufficient for the policy. You have to it's address above. the concerns and put it on the red list in the first place. So you have to really talk to the fire chief and say, I'm going to make these changes. Does that satisfy your concerns that you can get your emergency equipment down this road? I'm happy to speak with him and invite him to the property and bring two fire trucks if you'd like. Um, but <laughs> come on and try it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Fire trucks down. That's on a red list. Well, I disagree, but <laughs> I mean, that's a conversation. I mean, the fire, the red list was done in consultation with the road agent and the fire chief, most of the fire chief. I understand. So it's it's his determination that it, he cannot get his emergency response equipment down that road. Safely. safely all seasons all all year round you know so not hence just, our improvements to the road to be able to to be able to do that um that's that's the conversation needs to happen you yeah, know how do you get off the red list that's the key. you gotta get off the red list policy says red list the state says no construction on class five class six for private roads unless certain conditions are made no. barrington's policy is if you're on the red list 
You gotta address the deficiencies that got you on the red list. I thought that's what I was here. I thought that's what I was here, I that's what I was here to do. Was to discuss that. Um, um, that discussion is not with us. It's with the fire chief. Yeah. Thanks. We don't make decisions. We give our opinion to the to the select board. But the part of the policy is that the, if you're on the red list, that causes another action to be required. It requires you before you can construct do any yes. construction. You're required to address the deficiencies that put you on the red list in the first place. They have to be addressed. That's the the chief put you there, so he's really familiar with what the problems are. And we address who put me on the list to be here to speak in front of you to not be able to speak about this until um, the fire chief. <laughs> uh, yeah, so all right, what do I'm I have not, to do I'm, moving forward? I mean, I. I, I, when this policy was modified, I was part of that policy. I put Bob. No, I understand. You know, we didn't question what the chief put on the on the red list. He, it was his decision. It's 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 I mean, emergency response, life and safety. Can he get his truck down there all 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 year round? That's his concern. I understand the equipment that. Equipment is three quarters of a million dollars. Doesn't want to get stuck on your road and has an emergency response somewhere else and he can't get there. So it's really his call. And so for us to overrule. To me to overrule his decision on an emergency response and that's what the, the law is what the state law is all about assuring that there can then be emergency response to homes that are being built on private roads this is an existing home with only the same residents inside it we're not adding additional residents the, the fact that it's being brought up as adding additional space by turning turning offices and dining rooms into bedrooms um is another issue as well but um I guess without the without this correspondence or discussion with the chief on this issue, the building department wouldn't even issue a building permit. So item number three on the red list says Dry Hill Road. The road currently serves one resident. The road crosses a significant amount of wetland and is only one lane. No further development should be allowed unless the road is widened and brought up to class stick six and private road policy minimum road standards. That's yeah. sixteen, two and two. I read that as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I guess going to the chief, what, our hands are tied because it's on the list. We can't, we can't even look at it. How am I supposed to get off the list if I can't make but improvements to the road? You've got to go to the chief and see. Maybe he'll give you suggestions of what needs to, specifically what needs to be done. And I mean, then, the, the chief made the comment right here. The upgrades proposed by the property owner uh, do nothing to alleviate the issue okay. of the, that he had with the, the road safety. So he wants what? what That's what he... you'd have to talk to him about. Yeah, get to sp he, he's talking, you know, giving the general <clears throat> outline, the sp specific items. He give, he notes also it's important to understand that should fire arise on the property, a single lane road is accessed. It only allows us to shuttle water with one truck at a time. <laughs> I'm it's... familiar with this system. They well, have you're to have a tanker pass. I've watched. Pumper. I've watched. Uh, Amazon vehicle and the fire and uh, garbage truck passed by. So I mean, that's his recommendations. I, I I understand his point of view, but it's just not the case. I mean, maybe we need some more smaller fire trucks or more training for for the employees. But um, <laughs> so, that's out of our don't career. start don't start with that when you have this conversation. With him. <laughs> that's not your lead. No. Don't lead with that. Don't lead with that. Yeah. Well, it comes out of frustration for being here, yeah. of, of having to Sorry about that. waste my time. I know. So. You can understand our position. We, it, it's on the red list. All we right. Well, here we are. I'll schedule an appointment with him and yep. hopefully not have to come back here. Is there any way to. Would you, you'd be I'll requesting a continuance. And then that means yeah. I have to come back again yeah. months in advance and months. Okay. So the. You would like to request a continuance so you don't have to reapply. Okay. I would like to request a continuance so I do not have to reapply. Please. Would you be able to um, come back on October 1st? Do you think that's the next planning board meeting? Yes. Meetings? Yeah. Make it work. Okay. So uh, I'll make a motion to continue this to October 1st meeting. Second. Roll call. Not by. Just the aye. All right. Just the aye. Okay. That's yeah, good. Yeah, once again, are you going to need. Are you going to need a, a letter from him? Is he going to have to remove it from the red list? What's what's what would you need from? I guess you couldn't remove it from the red list until the, the work is done. done. Yeah. So is he going to? Yeah. I mean, he comments. He comments. We have staff comments. So as part of the record here. Yeah. So he, he he sends us comments to say, I'm satisfied with the road improvements yeah. that you that you agreed to do. Yeah. Then. 
that would satisfy us. Now that said, you won't get the building permit until the road improvements are done. But he's not a but road so builder. Get, you won't get the CFO you, until, the, until the, the road is fixed. So he's going to recommend the uh, building of a road. Um, My recommendation would be to. Isn't there existing? Excuse me. Isn't there existing existing road plan within the town? Is there? There has got to be. There's got. Yeah, you have an existing road plan. Um, is there? Can I get access to that? The existing road plan. <clears throat> so then, I could show it to him without having to pay for. The, you know. All the surveys and such, I guess. I don't but, think you need a survey. I think you're going to talk to him and agree yeah. on a scope of work. All right. They're usually looking for four inches of fresh stone, private road, 16 feet wide travel, and, and two foot shoulders that can support a fire engine. They can't just be. Do you want a blueprint shoulders. from him too, or like a plan, or is it like just verbal? Or well, no, he, 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 the policy says you have to have a detailed plan on what you plan to do. My recommendation to you would be to meet with the road agent and as well the, as it, and the fire okay. chief at the same We're time a because bit more sense there. Okay. the road agent will help bring some balance and reasonableness to your conversation and also provide um, maybe a little guidance into how to meet something that accomplishes what you're both after. Yeah, but someone that knows how to construct it, a road. The his, the I, I would I suggest I put looking on. at the recommendations that he had made specifically yeah. around this application. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, do you have, I know I emailed a copy, but do you have a copy? Down by the recycling station. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, I know. Okay, next item. Item number B, review of request for building permit for Joe Wilson, Finney Way, map 2256, lot two. For category three, option one from the class six private road policy. How you doing? My Hi. name's Joe Wilson. I live at 79 Finney Way in Barrington. Um, I have a five acre lot that I subdivided a year ago off of a 17 acre piece and I upgraded the road all the way in to where I could because I live on the lake so I couldn't cut trees down in the shoreland protection but it's pretty wide all the way in. Uh, any comments? Yeah, I believe the upgrade was because of the addition to the house, not yeah, I was not the a, subdivision. Yeah, I was putting an addition on the house. Yeah, right, right. To do that, I had to combine the land, so I chunked off the five-acre lot. Yeah, but the road agent said it, it doesn't it doesn't meet standards. Yeah, I'd like to meet them down there, and I read a tape every day. Uh, well, that's got to happen. I mean, and I, and I just went down my driveway yesterday, and I have 19 feet in one spot to where this five-acre lot is. So, yeah, but you know, you have a road agent who's a representative of the town I'm by. Yep. He says it doesn't meet standards. But I'm wondering why a road agent comes down a private road. 
Because he was well, requested well, for a all, building permit. Under state state law, you're not supposed to build a house there. Period. The town is very generous in allowing you to do it yeah. with the help of, if the road is brought up to certain standards, yeah. to town equipment. So to provide emergency services to you. Yep. And why is the road agent showing up? He's the only one that can determine if the road meets the standards. I mean, does that make sense? It kind of makes sense. sense, but when the when the okay. fire when the fire department in my world makes sense. That's I know the fire department checked my road out. Yeah, well, the road but, agent and is he's obviously that's part it. of his uh, daily wick. Being the road agent, so yeah, he would, and he uh, represents the town. So and he represents. Yeah. The if he town. says it doesn't meet standards, then we have to. If the board of selectmen have recommended, and I didn't that, see exactly what he say. What exactly did he say? Um, well, I, he said um, the numerous sections where it's not twenty feet. My capable of supporting a, a loaded fire truck. There are sections intruded on by stumps, a tree, a tree or two, rock walls, and an occasional stray rock or two. As the road rears but bears right coming down from Young Road, the right side drops down significantly, precluding any heavy vehicle from driving in there. The cure, the cure for these issues is not astronomical. So he, he thinks it's could be a day or two with an excavator and a few loads of gravel. So I I have two bulldozers and three excavators sitting on the property that I own. The, if I gotta make something happen. Well, it's the policy done. says if it's not up to standard, that it can be bring up the standard or 10%. Yep. Policy. Yep. So it sounds like it's potentially less than 10% to bring up the standard, according to the road agent. He, yep. He also did point out the uh, paving of the apron coming in. Right? Yeah. You'd yep. like to see a 16 foot wide pavement. Yeah. 16 feet in. On, on the, the apron. Off the young, now, road, the young road where it meets. Yeah. Now that they won't degrade the edge of the town road as things go over. So, so when you get into the first corner of my property, I own from that corner all the way down. That road is range road. Do I legally have a right to pave 16 feet in? I don't own it. Well, there's a right of way for it, right? Yep. The right of so so yep, and I maintain the right of way. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But you know also. But that's, I mean, policy says there's got to be a detailed plan on what the scope of work is going to be. A lot of these have become in without any plan at all. You know, it most meet standards. Road said doesn't meet standards. We've been kicking them to the select board, but to me, we shouldn't do that anymore. If, it's not, if, the, if the application is not complete, doesn't have, you know, the road scope and stuff like that, we should kick it back to the applicant. We shouldn't kick it down with the road of select. I think that's, to me, that's the wrong thing mm -hmm. to do. To me, this is a diff I think it's deficient. It hasn't got enough, hasn't got the road scope agreed to, and it should be kicked back the outcome until the roads until that part of the policy is satisfied. That's how I feel. I'll let Jamie know. I, no, I think you should talk just you get, get in touch with the road agent. Maybe he yeah. can give you some specific information as to the amount of material you would need to bring it up. I mean, that's a calculation. Maybe. Somebody who's it's, familiar it's with very, what's required. very minor because the path that he says that drops off is outside the 20 feet. So, he, he what do I got to do with the 80 feet? I mean, it's it's either you fix the I mean? road, it's either fix the road to 10 percent. In, in your simple. case, it looks simple. Like the fix is a lot less than 10 percent. Yep, so you can bring it up to standard to the, to the place where you're asking for a building permit. Yep, for less than 10 percent. So, that's through you should go. But yep. you have to you have to define a pro clearly define the scope you're going to do. Got to be agreed to by the um, the road agent, the fire chief, or at least the road agent. The road, the fire chief's all set. Okay, and then that that's what goes to the uh, select board. So they approve it yep. contingent upon you doing yep. that scope of work. Yes, that's the way it's supposed to go. I just had um, one question on yep. the plan set. So in the plan set, there's um, a very small kind of cut sheet. Um, with the plot, and it looks like it states that it's a three that they're three bedroom units, but in the plans, it looks like it's a two bedroom. Yeah, unit. there's three bedrooms. There's one in the basement. Okay. So if you're looking at the plans, you're looking at one floor. Right. In the basement, there's one bedroom. It's walk out. Yeah. Walk out in the back. Yep. I just didn't see a finished yep. plan set for the basement, so I was. Yeah, that that 
on that set of plans, that's optional and I will put it on for them, but I had already explained that to them that okay. one room with the bathroom is the third bedroom. Gotcha. In each unit. And I'm not I'm nice not selling them. I'm keeping nice them. Nice them. Nice My daughter's nice moving in. I'm not. I think it's a nice design, but it's definitely a policy. <clears throat> okay. Um, looking where the site is, so you're not that far from Young Road, right? Nope. The frontage of the, the lot um, immediately makes a turn and goes yep. straight in. So. It's not like we're asking you to do the whole road all the way down no. to the other house. So no. I think, I think that's all he's and, asking. And like I, mean, I, like I said, I got five machines sitting there. Okay. I own them. I'll do Well, I would, I'd would. i contact him and say, yep. you know, you went before the planning board and they had suggestions you get back to him, get specific yep. information what's required. I Maybe can. he can actually come out and pinpoint the spots yep. that he has trouble with. And define a scope of work clearly, so it's, yep. that's understood. Yeah, yeah, our job is not to say yes or no, oh, it's just to say... I agree, I just wish that when this problem arises, somebody would contact me or the guy before and say, hey, you need to do this before Yeah, you maybe the... That should be the building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the building department should um, maybe... Actually, the oh, ideal thing, if I you had... could sit down with the building department, the road agent, and the fire chief, yeah. iron these things out before you even submit an yeah. application. It would just save everybody's time. That should be on that class six application to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I would have done that in a second. Yeah. Yeah. You can understand our hands then are you, tied here. Yeah. So I guess I want to continue with yep. October 1st. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Make a motion we continue so October 3rd? First. First. Well, have the, I'll have to do it done before okay. then. Because I'm going to call oh, him yes. tomorrow. Aye. As long as I get his number. Test your eye. No, no. Just go high. Hold on. Two first and second now. Ron, Ron first did the third. We corrected to the first. Then I seconded, which was. Uh, How much specificity? Said the second, and we said no, the first. So. <laughs> Who's on first? We haven't figured that out. Yes. I seconded. Okay. Um, All right. So, October 1st. See you October 1st. All right. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Yeah. Mark's going to be a popular guy this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the problem is, they were told we're not supposed to comment on it. Next item is, so uh, this is where the uh, map 239 29 Z 24 sub. Excuse myself for one Timothy second. Rowell. Well, we can't. Oh. I'll be back. Please. It's okay. Well, how about we take well, while we get take we'll take, a, take a break, take a two minute break. Two minute we break. Obviously, yeah, there you go. we have to have a form. You're right. So we'll let him get comfortable <laughs> up at the podium. <laughs> Is the light green? Andy hadn't done that. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. But the next item is adjourned. <laughs> or new business. Do you have any new business? No. Andy <laughs> hasn't done that.
I kept the, okay, uh, the outside world on it. Okay. So just a quick recap. You were here before. We made some changes. Now you're back. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody said that. <laughs> Uh, Steve Highwood, Civil Works in McEnany, representing the Rowles. Um, as you note, we were here a couple weeks back. We made a revision to the plan for the subdivision as we had discussed at Planning Board. You have that in front of you now. Um, with that is just a waiver request, just to identify um, it, as requested, just because it's uh, not a rectangular lot, but it has a, it does, does make a frontage and it has a 75 foot site, but everything else. And uh, I, I guess that's really it. <laughs> we waited for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming from another meeting, and I apologize for being late. But thank you very much for sticking around. We were going to be here anyway. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Um, we should do public comment for this. Yeah. Uh, any board comments first? Yeah. Nothing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll open it to public comment. Anybody online? Anybody nope. here? Anybody? Closing public comment. Just need a vote on the waiver if you accept it or not. All right, got the waiver um, right here. I don't know if I put it in line. What's the waiver for? Do you want me to read the waiver? Yeah, please. Oh, yeah, please. That'd be amazing. <laughs> okay, uh, Rouse is seeking the following waiver from the Town of Barrington Subdivision Regulations for the above case submittal. Town of Barrington Subdivision Regulation Part 3, Article 11.2.2, .2, Lot Shape. The lot shape has been reconfigured to better meet the intent of the regulations and meets all the criteria listed within this section. One, the revised lot shape better clarifies the ownership of the new lot. The revised lot shape is as close to a rectangle as possible given the occupation area of the existing residence. The revised lot shape does not create any widths that are less than 75 feet. The revised lot shape minimizes the length to width ratio and does not exceed three to one. The revised lot is not located on a street corner. The revised lot is not located on a street that is anticipated to be widened. And the revised lot has created side lines as near to right angles to the street as appropriate. So as, as discussed last time, so uh, the parcel would be 1.84 acres and meets all your other zoning requirements with the exception of that waiver request. I make a motion we we waive requirement. What's it again? Accept the uh, waiver accept request. Accept the waiver to article, part three, article 11.2.2. .2. I'll second that. Half aye. Tessie, aye. Right? Allard, aye. Briscoe, aye. Okay. And any, go right to the notice. Of this any more comment before we do that? Public comment. Did you read public comment? Uh, I'll open the comment. I thought I did. Yeah, sorry. We need some feedback from the audience to keep us going here. <laughs> close. If I didn't close, I'm closing okay. public comment. There we go. Okay. We'll, All get right. it. we'll get it. All right. All right. You read um, half of it, and I'll read half. Okay. Sounds good. At the September 17th, 2024 meeting, conditionally approved your application. The application has met the town ordinances and regulations in accordance with the town of Barrington, New Hampshire subdivision regulations amended April 2nd, 2024 and the Barrington zoning ordinance amended March 12th, 2024. All the precedent conditions must be met by the applicant at expense of the applicant prior to the plans being certified by the planning board. Certification of plans is required prior to the commencement of any site work or according many plans. Once the precedent conditions are met, the plans are certified and the approval is considered final. The condition precedent, or excuse me, if all the present conditions are not met within 12 calendar months of September 17th, 2025, the board's approval of considered to have lapsed unless the board grants a mutually agreeable extension. The conditions precedent are as follows. Add the following to the plan. The zone districts on all the properties, including abutters, owner signature, professional surveyor signature, Add the following to the plan at the September 17, 2024 planning board meeting. The board approved the following waiver from the Barrington subdivi subdivision regulations, article 11.2.2 .2 lot shape. Number three, the subdivision recording fees to be paid, the exact recording fee and return shipping to be determined by the Stratford County Registry of Deeds, payments to be made payable for Stratford County Registry of Deeds. Staff can help assist provide costs. Um, when submitted to the planning board chair, 
the LCHIP fee of $25 payable to the Stratford County Registry of Deeds. Okay. Uh, item number four, final plan date and signature block is to be updated. Item number five, certificate of monumentation installation submitted to the town. Proper and complete survey monumentation shall be installed on the properties. Uh, is issued a final approval of the application. The applicant is there. Shall certify in writing that the bounds and pins have been installed according to the submitted plan. Item number six. Prior to obtaining the board signature, the applicant shall submit two full-size paper copies of the subdivision plans. One 11 by 17 copy in the PDF A format file uh, with supporting documents as required with a letter explaining how the applicant addressed the conditions of approval to the land use office. The planning board chair shall sign and date all plans meeting the conditions of approval. The board shall endorse two full-size paper copies of the subdivision <coughs> plans for their records and one 11 by 17 copy in PDF uh, format file for the case file folder, general and subsequent conditions. Item number one, street view signage shall be 911 compliant. Approved by the town of Barrington. Item number two, E911 addressing shall be established will have to be established note both sections above the number conditions marked for the number and all conditions below the number are standard conditions and all or most applications of this type uh, the town planner does wish you the best of luck with your project if you have any questions or concerns please please, please feel free to contact her good luck with your project we have a vote Oh, yeah, let's yeah. vote. I told you it was late, 7.30. I make a motion we accept, uh, we approve application 238-29-V-24-sub. Uh, 239. Two, 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 yep, 239, sorry about that. I'll second that. Would Roll call. Thanks. Nah, bye. Tessie, right. right. Crystal, I. Thank you very yeah, much. Good luck. Did you notice that with uh, Chris Berry's earlier, they were starting the project in uh, spring of 2024? <laughs> I didn't catch like, that. Missed that one. A little late. All right. Is there any more motions here? To adjourn. Okay. Uh, I'll second that. Roll call. Half yeah, eye. Just your eye. How oh, nice. Just go out. All right. We're off. Officially off. <laughs>